at these multiple ways that you can provide feedback to students about their thinking and give them see that as being something you can look at through observations, through conversations, not only the products that they produce. Um, and when the language that we're speaking to students reflects the thinking competencies and they're hearing that back, it does create a powerful environment where students have a better understanding of what's involved in being a good thinker and that starts to be made more explicit for them. So the more that we can mirror those elements of good thinking and provide multiple opportunities for students to demonstrate that, we're well on our way to creating a really powerful thinking classroom.